This is Jim from Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. I want to welcome you to our channel, another episode of Tips from the Swamp. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how the Link Radio Control System for a Maxi irrigation system operates. The previous video, we discussed the different radios that are used in these systems. Now we're actually going to show how the system works. So to start with, we're going to look at the actual program on the computer. One of the things we need to look at first is, is the computer set up correctly? So we need to go to system settings. Because we're dealing with a link system, we want to make sure that the computer is set for link satellites. If it's not, then there'll be problems with it communicating correctly. The next thing we want to check is in the MIM. Let me swing this around. And inside the MIM, we want to check and make sure that the chip in the MIM is also a link chip. That way we know things will operate correctly. There's also an output board with a series of lights which <laughs> as they flash designate different incoming and outgoing signals. We will also notice on the computer screen that there is a red light that shows that the computer has locked in and connected with the MIM. And on the MIM itself, you'll have the status light flashing, the RD and SD, which are send and return lights flashing to let you know that things are talking back and forth. Next thing we need to do is turn on the satellite. In this particular case we have a face panel, a power interconnect, two OSMs, and most importantly we have a link communication module. And again you want to pay attention to the last two numbers on that chip to make sure that they correspond if you have to check them at the base plate. Also there's a series of dip switches. There's four of them. And the first dip switch needs to be turned on. Dip switch two, three, and four need to be turned off. These were put on here for some thoughts of some other functions but never came about. If you have the two, three, and four switches on the system will not operate or communicate. So make sure it's only dip switch one is on. Now we'll turn on the satellite. That We have a flashing light and it has booted up. What we're waiting for is for it to come up and tell us that yes, it's now in link, which says it's reading the communication module. Now we may have to wait a little bit for the maxi system to lock in and solidify the maxi light. Now that that maxi light has locked on, we know that the system is communicating in both directions. Now we'll go back to the computer. We'll go to the monitor log setup. We'll click here and go to the course monitor DMA. This is so we can turn stations on. So for the first station, I will put two minutes and turn it on. And you'll notice that the first station has come on with the light indicator here. And it also shows in the panel itself as station one active. And the other thing that we need to look at is back at the computer, you'll notice that the station one is showing on and the system indicator up here at the very top has gone red to indicate that it is talking both directions. Now we can add time in to the other stations. 
and you'll notice that they also turn on so we have multiple stations. Now we have to be patient at this point because we need to wait for this system to talk back and turn the communication both directions back on showing us red. Okay. That can also be monitored on the radio itself with the flashing lights. One is the receive light, one that's flashing now. The other light is one that says that it's talking back, which is a talk back light. And if you're waiting and you see that light come on, that means it's sending back to the MIM, back to the computer, to reflect the activities that are going on. Now I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to turn these stations off. And now, as you can see, they are off. And the light is flashing as it's pulling to solidify the signals. And over here at the MIM, we still show light, lights that are lit because it's waiting for the system to pull through and correct. It will go through all four wire groups and then it will go through and make sure that all the lights are turned off that need to be turned off. Because at this point it knows that there are no stations running as we see here. Everything is now turned off at the computer. Nothing is turned on on the satellite and now the system has pulled through and turned off the appropriate lights on the MIM itself. You'll notice that there are four group lights on. That's because when it pulls through to make sure that everything is correct, it checks all four groups and leaves those light indicators so you know that it was actually checking all of them. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any new videos. We also appreciate your comments and suggestions. Remember, if you'd like us to repair your equipment, we will provide you a shipping label. And we promise you a quick turnaround on all repairs. Visit us on our website, www.absolute-control.com. Thank you from Gator with tips from the swamp at Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists.